presentation on purple ponds. Sometimes facultative ponds turn purple, or a red or pink colour, as you can see in this slide of a facultative pond in Jamaica. The reason why facultative ponds turn purple is that the algae are no longer the predominant microbial group. They have been outgrown by photosynthetic bacteria. This occurs mainly in slightly overloaded facultative ponds, and it's due to these two factors. Firstly, the sulfates in the wastewater are reduced to sulfides by the obligately anaerobic sulfate-reducing bacteria, such as Desulfa vibrio species. Secondly, the sulfides so produced are oxidised to sulphur, and sometimes eventually to thiosulfates and sulfates, by anaerobic photosynthetic green and purple bacteria. Photosynthetic bacteria don't produce oxygen because they oxidise H2S, not H2O. The equation for bacterial photosynthesis is shown on the slide, and you can see that 10 moles of CO2 are fixed by the bacteria for every 21 moles of H2S oxidised to sulphur. In ponds, there are usually two important groups of photosynthetic bacteria, the purple sulphur bacteria belonging to the family Chromatiaceae and the green sulphur bacteria belonging to the Chlorobiaceae. The purple bacteria deposit sulphur granules inside their cells and the green ones deposit them outside their cells. This is a photomicrograph of Thyothrix, a purple sulphur bacterium, and you can clearly see the sulphur granules inside its cell. Bacteriochlorophylls, which are the group of photosynthetic pigments in photosynthetic bacteria, absorb light of a longer wavelength than algal chlorophylls. This means that photosynthetic bacteria occur in facultative ponds which are not overloaded. They lie below the algae, but above the anaerobic zone at the bottom of the pond, where the sulfates are reduced to sulfides. So they act as a sulfide filter, protecting the algae from the toxic effects of H2S, and also helping to control odour release. Facultative ponds, like this one in South Colombia, turn purple when they are overloaded. So much sulphide is produced that the algae are inhibited, in fact by the high level of dissolved H2S gas, and concomitantly there is a huge growth of photosynthetic bacteria as they quickly respond to the greatly increased concentrations of sulphide, so the pond turns purple.